the U.S. Navy's carrier strike group, led by the USS Harry S. Truman and five escort ships, will remain in the Mediterranean on its current deployment. The carrier group which had departed the United States at the beginning of December was expected to transit the Mediterranean and continue to the Persian Gulf. But there's change in deployment. The carrier strike group will continue to stay put in the Mediterranean. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin confirmed this with U.S. Navy spokespeople, stating that it's a sign of support to America's European allies. While nothing specific was stated, it's no secret that this is influenced by Russian troop buildup on the Ukrainian border. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. Navy extending the stay of the USS Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group in the Mediterranean is a message to Russia. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. USS Harry S. Truman is a Nimitz-class supercarrier. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were designed to be improvements on previous U.S. aircraft carriers, in particular the Enterprise and Forrestal-class vessels. All ten Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were constructed between 1968 and 2006 at Newport News Shipbuilding Company, Virginia in the largest dry dock in the Western Hemisphere. USS Harry S. Truman is the eighth ship of her class and was commissioned on the 25th of July, 1998. It is one of the largest vessels constructed and has an intimidation factor associated with it. It has a displacement of 100,000 tons and an overall length of 332.8 meters or 1,092 feet. To give viewers a perspective, it's about three football fields long. It's powered by two A4W nuclear reactors kept in separate compartments. These power four propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the warship has practically unlimited range and endurance. USS Harry S. Truman, being a Nimitz-class carrier, possesses a multitude of different radars, including electronically scanned array 3D radars. It's equipped with 16 to 24 RIM-7 Sea Sparrow. RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is a ship-borne, short-range, anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon system, primarily intended for defense against anti-ship missiles. Its range is 19 kilometers or 12 miles. Close-in weapon CIWS, duties are performed by RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile and Phalanx. RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile capable of taking out the incoming anti-ship missile. Phalanx CIWS has a 4,500 per minute rate of fire and is designed for last-ditch defense. USS Harry S. Truman can carry a flight group of more than 60 fixed-wing aircraft, including F-A-18 Super Hornet, E-A-18G Growler, 
Northrop Grumman's E-2C Hawkeye. FA-18 Super Hornet is a twin-engine, supersonic, all-weather carrier-capable, fourth-generation, multi-role fighter aircraft. They have a payload of 7,700 kilograms, or 17,000 pounds, and can carry ground attack weapons as well as air-to-air -air missiles. The versatility of the aircraft can be gauged from the fact that on the first day of Operation Desert Storm, two F-18s, each carrying four 2,000-pound bombs, shot down two Iraqi MiGs and then proceeded to deliver their bombs on target. The EA-18G Growler is an airborne electronic attack AEA, aircraft. It's capable of electronic attack EA, and suppression of enemy air defense SEAD, particularly at the start and ongoing early stages of hostilities. Northrop Grumman's E-2C Hawkeye is a carrier-capable AWACS aircraft. It's designed to give long-range warning of incoming aerial threats and has a secondary role of command and control. Rotary aircraft includes variants of Sikorsky MH6, which can play a crucial role in anti-submarine operations. USS Harry S. Truman doesn't operate alone, but is deployed with the Carrier Strike Group, or CSG. The flotilla consists of multiple Arleigh Burke-class destroyer and Ticonderoga-class cruisers, which are multi-mission warships capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. Currently, the carrier group includes one cruiser, the USS San Jacinto, along with four guided missile destroyers, USS Cole, USS Bainbridge, USS Gravely, and USS Jason Dunham. The strike group is likely to have one or more Virginia-class attack submarines. The Virginia-class submarines can defeat enemy submarines, clear sea mines, as well as pit land installations. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has spoken with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on December 29th. After that call, Zelensky affirmed on Twitter, I was assured of full U.S. support for Ukraine in countering Russian aggression. The U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price said Blinken also spoke on December 29th with the German, French, and UK foreign ministers about coordination to deter any further Russian aggression against Ukraine. This indicates that the US is trying its best to handle the situation with diplomatic pressure. But this may not work eventually. So the US needs a plan B. And there is where USS Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group comes into play. The flotilla is powerful enough to make Russia rethink any military adventurism. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.